Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the SimpleCon NW611 USB wireless adapter on a Linux Mint operating system. So this is the version of the USB wireless device that I have and I installed it on a Mint operating system and it didn't work using the drivers that I downloaded on this web page. So you need to download the drivers that I'll be showing you. I'll left a link in the description. So this is a device, SimpleCon NW611AC. So all you have to do is just plug it in to the USB port. Then I'm going to show you the operating system, what I need to do. So when you install the drivers, what you've got to do is download the drivers from the link that I put in the description. Put in a folder called build and copy it to your computer. So once you go into build, check out the folder. So you got to go to the folder with all the files. So the one that I have is RTL821CU. So when you're in that folder, just type in make. This is going to compile all the files. Now you're going to type in sudo make install, which will install all the files. If it asks you for the password, just enter the admin password and just let it run. So once the install is completed, like now, you need to reboot the computer. So I'm just going to reboot it now in order for the drivers to take effect. So just let the computer reboot, wait until it goes into the operating system. Okay, so now it's started. So let's try the website and there we go, it works. And you, if you check the, the wireless, you will see that there's a couple of wireless devices. The other thing to check is the actual device. At the moment you see that there's no blinking lights on the USB adapter. Once you install the drivers, you'll be basically seeing a blue light flashing. So I'm just gonna show you how that looks like. And there we go. You see the blue lights flashing, which means it's working on the USB adapter. And, th and that basically worked when I installed the drivers. So I was capturing the video from the computer and also capturing a video of the device at the same time. So you will see that the blue lights flashing now which means that it's the drivers were installed after the reboot. If this video helped you in any way, give it a like and subscribe to the channel.